The Natufians were a Mesolithic culture that thrived in the Levant, covering modern-day Israel, Palestine, Jordan, Lebanon, and Syria. They are considered a crucial transitional society between mobile hunter-gatherers and the first agricultural civilizations. Unlike their fully nomadic predecessors, Natufians lived in semi-permanent settlements, making them one of the first cultures to show a shift toward village life. Jericho is the oldest continuously inhabited city in the world, and Natufians first populated it. They developed advanced microlithic tools, including sickles used for harvesting wild grains and grinding stones for food processing, precursors to full-scale agriculture. Burials included ornamental beads and carved objects, showing evidence of ritual practices and social differentiation. The Natufians are among the earliest known cultures to have lived alongside domesticated dogs, marking an important step in human-animal relationships, as evidenced by mixed burials of humans and dogs. Though not fully agricultural, their intensive foraging of wild cereals like wheat and barley began altering the Middle Eastern ecosystem, encouraging plant domestication and reducing biodiversity in some areas. The Natufians are often linked to the ancestors of later Semitic-speaking peoples, particularly through their genetic contribution to Neolithic populations in the Levant, Egypt, and Arabia. The Natufians can be modeled as a mixture of Zadzwana hunter-gatherer with the Ibero-Morusians, which means they were clearly a Eurasian and not an African people group. For this video, I gathered the raw DNA of two Natufians, both being male and both carrying the Y lineage E1B. I ran them through my trait predictor tool for DNA analysis. First I will introduce to you I1072, here is his predicted phenotype. He is predicted to have had dark brown eye color, black hair color, either light or dark brown skin tone, kinky hair texture, and a Greek nose shape. He was predicted to have intermediate rate of dopamine reuptake, more D2 receptors, higher odds of autism, lower levels of empathy, lower odds of obesity, and blood type O. Regarding his biomarker predispositions, he had high level of vitamin D, lower level of glucose, lower telomere length, and much lower predicted height. I also ran him through my GWAS health predictor. He scored particularly high for the odds of asthma. He also scored quite high for odds of anxiety disorders. He scored particularly low for odds of schizophrenia. He also scored quite low for odds of Parkinson's and myocardial infarction, also known as heart attack. Here are the closest modern groups to this individual according to Eurogenes K13. Now let's move on to our second individual, I1685. Here is his predicted phenotype. He is predicted to have dark brown eyes, black hair, dark brown skin, kinky hair texture, and a Greek nose shape. He is predicted to have more D2 receptors, high odds of autism, low odds of epithelial cancers, low odds of autoimmune disease, low odds of obesity, and an inconclusive blood type. His biomarkers suggest a higher level of vitamin D, higher level of LDL cholesterol, lower level of glucose, and slightly shorter than average height. According to my GWAS Polygenic Risk Score tool, he had high odds of Alzheimer's, but also alcoholism and even stroke. He had low odds for anxiety disorders, low for odds of asthma, and particularly low for odds of schizophrenia. Here are the closest modern groups to this individual according to Eurogenes K13. Thank you for watching until the end. You can purchase their genomes in 23andMe format from link in the description of the video, but in the description are also links to Andre DNA tools and services, such as my CADM service or my trait predictor executable. Make sure to check out the description, and as always, don't forget to like and share.